Hey everyone, this is my Walgreens trip that I did on 413. I picked up on the border tortilla chips, originally $2.99 on sale for $1.49. At my Walgreens, it was on clearance, so um, it does vary from store to store. And I just picked it up because I was on clearance and um, I've been to the on the border restaurant before and I've had their tortilla chips. So I just decided to pick it up because I really eat out at that restaurant and I'm not the kind of person that likes to eat out anyways so that's why I picked it up and because that was on sale for that price so hopefully that if it does um, get marked out even um, better then um, I'm going to grab more so if it's 75 cents it will be a even better deal for me um the the nice original cream cheese is $1.79 each. Original price with a balance reward card makes it $1.29 each. And then there is a an ad coupon which brings it down to um, $0.30 cents for each one of them making it $0.99 cents each. And I picked up three of them so I paid two ninety seven. The nice grated large eggs originally two twenty nine on sale this week for um ninety nine cents each. So it's two ninety seven for all three of them. There is a fifty five cent off a of two manufacturer coupon. And um I didn't bring it with me and I should have brought it with me because um because I was hoping that my grocery store would have had it on sale this this week for um Four ninety nine cents, and then use my coupon, and then pay like forty five cents for each one of them. So I believe if you get out Walgreens or Target this week, you're gonna pay like around seventy cents, seventy to seventy five cents each. I believe I believe it's around seventy two or seventy five. So I'm not gonna calculate that, but I'm just gonna let you know. Um, but but I I did have. Um, an issue with it in the past with this coupon and I didn't want to bring it to Walgreens and um, preferably I, I would like my coupon a double and I've always never had an issue with using it at, at Bilo or Harris Teeter because that they will double it and it scans perfectly fine so I will be picking it up before my coupon expires so um, my sub total was seven forty three after tax was seven fifty eight and there you see my um store savings right there and this was part of my first transaction, but um we had a long conversation about this in that coup in that um coupon no in some value coupon so um these right here are buy one get one half off. And um, when the cashier tried to scan it, it would not go through, and he got the um, assistant manager, one of the assistant manager, and he's like, okay, well, you can modify it to $2. And I, I don't know if I was looking at it correctly, whether or not if he took off $2 for each one of them or just for one of them, and I wasn't really sure if that was my total that I was wanting to pay for at the end so I just um and then um whenever the second manager came by she she looked at it and um she was like well I only can take off one of them and I cannot take off two of them because if I take off one of them then I will get a report on it from the um company on why um you're giving him a discount kind of thing so so um and I had a conversation with the store manager the store manager said that um you can use it use it on you can use this coupon on any Neutrogena makeup remover as long as if it says makeup remover and um she's really nice the store manager and I and I told her that I was going to have a talk with um, your store manager about it. And um, she and I know that we go by with the wording of the coupon. And, you know, I preferably like 
to go to come into the Walgreens because that she knows everything about the coupon, the store manager, and she's really friendly, and that's why I decided to come here here in the first place. So um, I only heard that these um, the twenty one count was going to ring up for the buy one get one half off, and certain Walgreens stores they didn't have the twenty one count; they only have the twenty five count. So I just picked up the twenty five count just just um, because that I because that I knew that I wasn't going to come back into Walgreens later on during the week. So. Anyways, these right here are buy one get one half off, and um, they are originally six seventy nine, and then the second one is three thirty nine. So this is what it looks like on the receipt here. Um, they did have to modify it to four seventy nine, so um, it took off two dollars for the first one, but when it came to the second one, it was three thirty nine, and then she only took off a dollar off, which made it two thirty nine. And I'm not so sure there was a glitch in the register or something, but that's what the store manager had told me about whenever I, I contacted her. And, um, yeah, so that's what happened. So I had to pay a dollar extra, and I was really upset that I had to redeem my points. So, um, so I redeemed 2,000 points, and I paid 418. So my actual subtotal should have been six eighteen, and I should have only redeemed two thousand points and paid five seventy, which is not oh, which was okay with me. So, and I saved two dollars and forty cents. So, at the end, whenever I contacted um the Walgreens cu customer relations, they um they did issue me the one thousand points whenever I explained to them what happened in the store, and that um that an extra dollar should have been taken off but um they couldn't they would have this issue escalated but they wouldn't i'm sorry they will have this issue escalated but i will not be getting a contact call because i, I have my 1000 points given to to them and then if if i had it escalated and a call back then um they wouldn't they wouldn't issue me the 1,000 points and you had to go back into, into the store and get a refund from the store manager or have the store manager add the 1,000 points to your account, something like that. So, I mean, it was just a really stressful time checking out and I do blame it on the poor wording of the coupon in the instant value coupon booklet. Hopefully it will be resolved because uh, um, whenever I did spoke with the manager, she was really nice about it. She's really coupon friendly and she's like, yeah, I would, I would accept it because that is the wording of the coupon that really matters at most and, and not the picture or that if it's liquid makeup or whatever kind of thing. So, so me and her, we agree upon the wording and these... And this assistant manager, she's kind of new, and she's only been working there for like three or four months. So, um, so that's why I was being told by um, the store manager about that. And, and you know, I would like to come back into her Walgreens, her Walgreens more often because she really understands about the coupons. And at the end, I got my thousand points. And I got a two dollar um, credit from Checkout Fifty One, so um, that's three dollars. So basically, um, I was supposed to pay six eighteen for both of them, and then I paid. I paid three eighteen. For both of them after um, the credit that I received back from them. Well, actually 418 for both of them. Which isn't really bad. So, so yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.